MOE and the IHLs have put in place measures to address the concerns raised by staff on workload. At the system level, MOE has reprioritized initiatives and reduced schools involvement in HQ work and pilots. Schools have also been given greater flexibility to pace the implementation of selected initiatives, including deferring implementation if it helps to spread out staff workload. For example, secondary schools and JCs were given the option to defer the implementation of blended learning to 2022 instead of Term 3 2021, as originally planned. At the school level, we recognise that ground practices may vary. We have called on school leaders to reprioritise school programmes, establish clear expectations on teachers' availability and work hours, and encourage supervisors to check in with their officers regularly. For example, school leaders have been providing guidance on avoiding parent-staff communications after school operating hours except for urgent matters such as those involving the safety and well-being of students. This can minimise the blurring of lines between work and personal time. In line with the streamlined health protocols, ring fencing policies and contact tracing processes in schools have now also been significantly simplified and teachers' workload related to COVID-19 management is being reduced. Similarly, the IHLs have implemented various measures tailored to their institutions such as reprioritization of work tasks to reduce workload and setting clearer expectations that staff need not reply to work emails after office hours unless there are exigencies. To support staff who need help, MOE provides free counselling services. In addition, MOE Polytechnic and IT staff who are public officers can access the whole of government counselling hotline. Staff in the autonomous universities have access to either in-house or external counselling services. Before COVID-19, about 50 staff from our school sought support from MOE's in-house counsellors annually. The annual number has increased to about 80 since 2020. Similarly, the number of IHL teaching staff seeking counselling support has increased. We do not have more detailed data as information from all counselling sessions is kept confidential and staff are not required to report mental distress or psychiatric issues. We recognise that exceptional demands that COVID-19 has placed on our staff and have put in additional efforts to promote a positive and supporting work environment for staff well-being across schools and IHLs, such as organising workshops covering stress management and self-care. As part of a new well-being initiative since September 2021, schools have nominated wellness ambassadors for staff to receive training on how to provide basic peer support and encourage their peers to seek help. Training has commenced in end October. Some IHLs are implementing similar initiatives. To support staff in implementing home-based learning effectively, MOE and IHLs have provided professional development courses and resources. Learning teams within and across schools have also allowed staff to collaborate and share good practices on the design and delivery of online lessons. The well-being of our staff is of paramount importance and MOE and the IHOs will continue to strengthen our support for staff to help ensure their well-being.